Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me. So um, if you're watching this in real time, it's probably fall or winter if you're living in the Northern Hemisphere. Whenever you watch this, if you're somebody who struggles with sinus congestion, sinus discomfort, sinus drainage, this video is for you. If you're new to this channel, my name is Tumi. I'm a medical doctor and a dancer, and I'm passionate about holistic health and creating videos that support your best and healthiest life. If that's of interest to you, consider subscribing down below. Let's get started with this video. So sinus congestion, sinus discomfort, and drainage, really common in the spring and fall time around allergy season. So the first thing I always recommend with people who are struggling with this is to consider if allergies are an issue for them, whether it be pollen, seasonal allergies, or food allergies. And with my clients and patients, I work with them one-on-one -on, -one on unmasking allergies through elimination diet, um, and through some testing if needed. So if you suspect that you suffer from allergies, definitely work with a holistic practitioner and figure out if allergies are an issue for you and start dealing with that holistically. Whether or not you have allergies with sinus congestion, one of the biggest things you can do, I believe, is look at your diet. I can tell you that eight years ago when I switched from eating a sort of standard American diet. It was a pescatarian diet full of um, um, uh, dairy products. I was eating fish, not meat, but lots of dairy. When I switched from that to a plant foods diet, my sinus congestion that I had suffered with, along with my um, asthma for decades, literally went away in two weeks. I am not uh, unique in this way and I've seen and witnessed patients and clients come off dairy and have complete resolution or vast improve, improvement of their sinus congestion. And there's, I could get into it for an hour, I'm going to keep it simple, but basically dairy products are extremely mucus forming and pro-inflammatory and that definitely will affect your sinuses, which is part of your respiratory tract. So I definitely recommend if you struggle with sinus congestion, sinus drainage, eliminate dairy, have an elimination period of at least three weeks and see what happens. I think you will be quite pleasantly surprised. The other thing I recommend around your diet is to really look at your gut health. Our gut health is a huge, important part of our immune system, which helps to regulate things like allergies and our sinus health. So really helping your gut health by eating more unprocessed whole plant foods, bringing in probiotics if needed to support a healthy gut microbiome, all of that will actually really help your sinus health. So looking at that is really important. I want to start with diet because for me, it's important to look at the underlying cause for issues. And a lot of times what you're putting in our mouth is what is affecting our sinuses. We think of them maybe as separate things, but they're so connected. So I also wanna talk about dehydration as a common cause for sinus congestion, sinus discomfort. This can happen many times during the fall and the winter time when we up our heating, like things like our radiator, and the air becomes very dry. This can cause sinus dryness and can actually um, cause bacterial overgrowth, pathogenic bacterial overgrowth. So bacteria that can then cause things like sinusitis, bacterial sinusitis, as well as viral sinusitis that make the congestion and drainage worse. So making sure that your sinus mucosa, the mucous membranes in your mouth and your sinuses are nice and moist by using a humidifier, by drinking enough water. This will help a lot in keeping those mucous membranes nice and moist, preventing dryness, and then preventing, because of that, again, bacteria or viral infections of your sinuses. The other thing I wanna mention, because I am holistic-minded as a doctor, is breath work. I think breath work can be so wonderful. I've been using breath work in my yoga practice for over 20 years. It helped me so much when I was dealing with asthma as a young girl 
and I find breath work to be important in so much, so many things. Sinuses is one of them. So one very simple breath work exercise you can do is alternate nose breathing. And that looks like placing your index finger and middle finger on your third eye, closing off one nostril with your thumb, and then breathing in through the other nostril like so. Breathe out through the same nostril. Breathe in through the same nostril again. And then close off that nostril with your ring or fourth finger and breathe out through the other nostril. Do it again on the other side. What that does is it helps to circulate oxygen and air through the different sinuses, frontal sinus, maxillary sinuses, which are here. It helps to equilibrate both parts of your hemisphere and your sinuses. This can be really helpful for improving circulation in general and also being aware of which may be part of your sinuses are congested and again helping to equilibrate the systems. I also think that it's really great for invoking the parasympathetic nervous system, getting you feeling calm, getting you feeling more embodied and again improving circulation throughout. I do want to bring up this one suggestion because I use it a lot, especially when I'm in clinic with patients who may not be in the optimal diet, who may not be willing to change their diet. But I do think this helps people no matter what kind of diet you're having, um, if you're not willing to do breath work, and that is using a neti pot. A neti pot is what, something you can find in most pharmacies right now. And using neti pots with saline or sea salt water solution you can make at home, you put that into your little neti pot and you put that through one nostril and it helps circulate through the sinus, helps to drain out the sinus of anything that might be stuck in there is a great practice for people who especially struggle with chronic sinusitis. It is symptom management. It's not dealing with the underlying cause, like I mentioned, but I think it's a great tool, along with maybe doing a eucalyptus oil steam bath. I love this in the winter time. It's so warming, helpful for both the chest, if you have chest congestion, and sinuses. In a basin, using hot, almost boiling water, a few drops of eucalyptus oil, draping your, a, a towel over your head, and doing some deep inhalations with that solution can be wonderful and soothing for your sinuses and again, your chest. These are just a few suggestions of many, but I wanted to give you some holistic tips around sinus congestion, sinus drainage, and sinus discomfort. I hope you found at least one, if not all of them, useful. If you enjoyed the video, please click like and subscribe. Share with anybody who you think might be interested. And if you're interested in diving deeper into holistic health, please consider getting my audiobook, which is now available, my book, which is now available as an audiobook. I'll leave a link down below. And also consider joining our membership program in which I answer your holistic health questions and your holistic life questions every month. Um, you send them in and I have the ability to answer them. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave a link to that down below. Wherever in the world you might be, I send you so much love. Take care.